For the last 30 days, I exercised my neck to see if I can grow it. Well, why would you torture yourself looking like an idiot in the gym, you ask? For aesthetics, bro. Simply having a thicker neck makes you look bigger. Look at this picture of Obama with a fat neck. Nothing has changed besides his neck size. Even compare Jeff Nippard when he had a smaller neck to him now. Simply changing your neck size makes you look big. We can even look at Scooby 1961 from the neck up. He looks like he'd be a small, small man. This man is huge when we look at the full picture. You would never guess if you only saw his neck. Now look at this headshot of this NFL player. There's no doubt this man is huge and can crush you with his bare hands if he wanted to. Having a thick neck makes you look big without any other input. Now it's not like I really need a thicker neck. I barely fit into any dress shirts as it is. But it would be interesting to see if I could still grow my neck in as little as 30 days. Outside of this, I often feel pain in the back of my neck and on the sides and upper traps. So I'm hoping strengthening these areas can also help with my neck pain. All right, so I've just finished a quick neck warm up. So let's see what size it is before we start. All right, 16 inches just about. So not bad for starting measurement. For my neck warm up, I just copied Jeff Nipper's routine and I'll leave that in a video link in the description. For my exercise routine, I combined different ideas from Jeff Nippard and Alpha Destiny in my training, and I'll train three times a week. So I shopped around on Amazon and found this Buka head harness. It's been pretty solid for the price point, and I couldn't seem to find a head harness that had two separate clips. It usually comes with the chain attached to this. So even if you're using bands and doing curls, the chain just like slaps against your body, and it's very annoying. So I cut it off and put another clip I should definitely get a better clip, guys, though. This is probably not safe, but it's been working out for now. And it's a lot better because then I can, if I can do it right now, because then I can detach it and have only the head harness for the bands without the chain. For the first day, I will do a banded workout, and it will be four sets of 25 curls, four sets of 25 reverse curls, and then four sets of 25 for twists for day one. Like everything else, I'll be focusing on progressive overload over the month like any type of other exercise. Day two, I will use weights and I'll do a supersize on Alpha Destiny's channel. Essentially, it's 10 sets of 10 with 10 second rests in between. It's, it's pretty brutal, guys. So first I did curls, then reverse curls, then the sides. And I originally thought I was a big man, sorry about the 25 pound plate, but I literally lowered it down to just my head by the end of the first workout. It was... It was excruciating. So day three, I'll use the harness again, but waited this time. Now I don't have any plates at home. So I just used what I have and put it into a bag. And then I strapped the bag to the harness. I gotta get creative. So again, four sets of 25 curls, four sets of 25 reverse curls. And those bands, instead of doing twists, I'll be doing extensions. And I followed this routine for 30 days. So we shall see my neck size and strength gains. And feel free to screenshot this routine as well. If you do, please head over to the subscribe button and click on that. The first week of exercises were successful, but re upon reviewing my previous filming, I noticed I used so much body movement using the head harness standing. So I found a better way to make myself look even dumber, but to isolate the neck. So if I tie the band around a dumbbell on the floor or on the leg of the bench, I can stretch the head harness onto the bench or I can slide it onto my head for curls. Then I can straddle the bench for reverse curls. So I use this setup since I noticed that for my day one exercises. So the last week in my exercises, my strength results improved dramatically. Uh, keep in mind, it didn't really push it too hard in the first two weeks. So the third week is when it really started to feel challenging. On the supersets, I went from barely being able to use a 10 pound plate to starting with a 25 pound plate, then lowering the weight down as I got fatigued. I also increased the banded curls by 20 pounds in most of them, and I've added another weight in my backpack as well. All right, drum roll, please. 30 days. Let's see what we got. So it looks like we grew about a quarter of an inch. So, oops. So about 30 days, quarter of an inch. Not too bad. I'm going to stick with this challenge for 100 days. See if I can get to 17 inches by the end of this. Maybe 16 and a half is more realistic, 16 and a half to 17. But as I said earlier in the video, I was having really bad neck pains for a long time. And this has definitely helped like 
back here down connecting right here so much better definitely a lot less neck twitches so i think i definitely strengthened the something that needed to be strengthened film that last part with the popcorn in my beard <laughs> big dummy the only thing i'm going to change in the workout is i don't really enjoy the superset days with the weights the 10 sets of 10 not my style of training honestly so i'm gonna do the weighted curls and weighted reverse curls but i'm gonna bump it down maybe four sets of 15 to 20 just more traditional rep ranges instead of supersets 10 sets of 10. if you guys enjoyed this type of video please consider subscribing as i will always be putting out fitness content and life content and i look forward to interacting with everyone in the comments peace